Okay, how am I gonna like do this? I've never like vlogged and driven with this camera before. Um, so he's like, where'd all the tape go? And I'm like, oh, I stole it from my car. So, if you're wondering why I can never find tape, I'm either using them for painting, wall collage, or vlogs. One, two, three, let's go! So basically right now I am going to... Because we don't have a pool. And I would like to swim and sunbathe, even though I get really burnt really easily. But still, laying out in the sun is just always a good time, even when you do get burnt. All right, fun fact, the other day, I went to a pool party, and you can't see it, but I had to get a shot that day. So I kept my little, you know, strawberry shortcake band-aid on, and I kid you not, I have a tan line of the little Miss Strawberry Shortcake Band-Aid, so, you know, that's cute and quirky. I felt embarrassed about it, so I covered it up with a ton of makeup. So, yeah, but first, before we go to the house, I'm going to go see if my local coffee shop is open because I want coffee. There's not really, like, a big, like, explanation to it. Um, I got up, like, kind of early today, and by, like, you know, summer standards, because my dad is not going to be in town for a little bit, so he was going to the airport this morning, so I wanted to see him before he left. So anyways, yeah, um, so this is probably gonna be my Sunday upload, and my Wednesday upload is going to be my special video that I did. My uploads have been really bad recently, but you know, it's fine, it's whatever, um, it's, this is probably honestly, if I'm being completely honest, this is probably one of the busiest summers of my life despite everything that's going on right now and like it doesn't like feel busy sometimes like but I'm so like I still have a lot like I'm taking two classes I'm in a show and you know on top of that I told myself I was like Abigail my car is so dirty there's stuff like flying everywhere I told myself, Abigail, you're not just going to sit in your room and do nothing all summer. You're going to have a good time. So that's what I'm doing. I have a hydro flask in the trunk of my car and I need to get that out. So if you hear like things rolling around, it's that thing. And it's probably going to like turn on. Like I have a little like jumper, like um, power thing in my car. Like you can jump cars with it, but you also can like plug your phone in it if you're like, you know, in the middle of the desert and your like car's not working or whatever. Because that's fun. So I had that back there and it's probably gonna hit it and then turn it on because when it like gets turned on it like makes this like scary noise and I have to pull over and turn it off and it's very loud and very frightening. The first time that happened I was actually like terrified that my car was literally going to explode. But in reality, it was just a power thing and uh, it fell. By the way, guys, if you haven't heard already, I'm in a show. So if you're in the Indianapolis area, you should check out Curtains. It's gonna be a bomb time. Um, I'll leak ticket info and like other info down below if you wanna pull up. Yeah, it should be fun, come see it. Um, it's at a winery too, so if you're over 21, then <laughs> you'll really enjoy the show. <laughs> this like oversized top and like the whole vibe I'm feeling now is very summer 2019. Like, okay. Summer night, like 2019 was like, honestly, awful for me personally. But, like, I also low-key enjoyed it. Like, it was one of those things that, like, I wish I could have enjoyed. Personally, I was not having, I was not living my best life. Um, lost stuff going on. It was not a good time for me. But, you know, I think this, like, summer, I'm trying to, like, vibe because it, like, finally hit me that I'm about to be a sink. Oh, my God. I just burped. I'm not crying or anything. But, like, Q1 
keeps hitting me that I'm about to be a senior and that this is like kind of my la like my second to la I don't know I don't know how like the summer between senior year and like college works I don't really know how that works um I have friends who are experiencing it now but I don't know like what that like would mean um I know that's supposed to be like you're like big last summer but this one like already kind of feels like it and maybe I don't know but I'm trying to have a good time before life gets crazy and like I'm just trying to vibe you know but at the same time I'm also trying to get the gains in you know I'm trying to have like a healthy mix of both like last summer was like looking back it was pretty productive but at the same time it was not productive at all like, I feel like if I'm not productive, I literally, like, freak out. Like, it's so weird. All right, I don't even know if this, like, coffee place is open. But if it's not, like, it's fine. Like, I have a water. Like, I'll live. Well, it's closed. Ha, 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 ha. I wish I could play some tunes. But, like, I also don't want to get copyright striked, you know? Like, what is that? Oh, my gosh, what is that? Someone had, like, freaking, like, some, like, weird-looking, like, pool noodles in the back of their car. I don't know. Fourth of July, man. All right, can I be honest? I really don't like the 4th of July. Like, it's, like, I just, I just don't vibe with it. Maybe it's because I don't like half of the Founding Fathers, although I used to be a Hamilton stanny. But, like, all of them make me mad. Maybe it's because I don't like Christopher Columbus, even though I know this is not his day. But, I don't know. I've just never vibed with the 4th of July. And I also realized I don't have sunglasses, so that's gonna be, um, interesting, but... Gosh, this road is so backed up. No, it's not. People are just turning. Uh, yeah. I did watch Stranger Things 3 today, like this morning, while I was doing my statistics homework that I put off again. And, like, honestly, I kind of enjoyed it. Like, I didn't finish season 2 because that wasn't, like, the vibe I was going for. But for some reason, I, I love, like, old, like, 90s, like, malls. I don't know why. I just vibe so much with, like, old malls. Like, if I could just go to, like, a mall that hasn't been renovated since, like, 1986, I would, like, just be so happy, and I don't know why. So, um, here are some examples of some old malls that I enjoy. As you can tell, this one's a little beat up, but it also has the good vibes. Um, I think it's maybe the neon. I don't really know what era that's from, but I still enjoyed it. This is what I'm talking about. Like, look how pretty that is. And the next side, like, there we go. Like, I just love the vibe. I don't know. We're going. We're gonna go. I hate this intersection. It's, it's just so confusing. Oh my gosh, so my time just got a Smoothie King, and I kid you not, everyone's addicted to going to Smoothie King now. Like, I went once, but I didn't realize it was, like, supposed to be, like, meal replacement or whatever. And, like, I had just, like, gotten, like, brunch with my friend. And then her and I were like, let's go to Smoothie King. And I was like, okay, so I, like, get, like, a medium. And I expect it to be just, like, you know, like, like a mini. Like, you know, like, kind of like a star, like, what, like, Starbucks provides, or even, like, what McDonald's provides. I'm, like... I haven't been to McDonald's literally in like 10 years, but like I know like their medium size. I don't know. Anyways, I was expecting like, you know, something like like a true medium size. And then they like open up the little bitty, like they open up the door and give me my smoothie. And it's literally like as long as my forearm. And I was like, um, is this supposed to be medium? And they're like, oh yeah, like and then my friend got a large and she expected it to be like the size I got. But hers is like literally the mega gulp slurp from 7-Eleven. I've actually never been to 7-Eleven, but still, like their sizing was like all out of whack, man. Like the more I think about it, the more I realize I have officially pretty much been driving for a full year. I think I got my driver's license like a year ago next week, which is crazy to me. Like. I think especially this summer is like the first time I've been like, you know, hardcore like driving like a lot. So, and I felt it because, um, you know, me buying all my gas. I'm like, oh wow, like, why am I buying a lot more gas than usual? It's also weird because my school is so close to me. So like during the school year, like I literally like 
drive like literally a mile, maybe two, maybe less. I don't know. I'm not very good at like perception of um, like length or whatever, but like I've done a lot of driving this summer and like I drove on the interstate for like not a lot, but I've actually like driven on the interstate and I'm getting comfortable with it. So <laughs> also guys, so while we're driving, I just figured I would give you a nice cute and quirky Hamilton pro shot. <laughs> so yesterday I watched the Hamilton pro shot. I went to my friend's house. We got our little like Hamilton like themed snacks and like our cookies and whatnot. And we watched the new Hamilton Pro Shot, and let me tell you, I have some thoughts. First off, um, poor Jonathan Groff, uh, you know, the guy spitting all over the place. Like, I mean, I'm kind of a spitter too, so like, I don't really have room to talk, but like, that was like a lot. Why is that man like, this guy in a truck just like, gave me a weird like, gesture. I don't know if it was to me, but like I always like freak out whenever I'm like driving and people are like look distressed and I'm nearby driving because I always feel like it's my fault because I'm not a good driver. Um, there's this bumper sticker I have from Glossier and it says honk if you look good, but I can never tell if people are honking because I'm like a mess or they're like feeling confident that day and feel like they look good. And like either way is fine. Like, you know, I'll take the constructive criticism. I can never tell if you're like feeling, like feeling yourself that day or if I'm just a bad driver. Like, and I guess they can't really explain it to me. It's just like a noise, which I can never tell what honks mean. But like at the same time, I know when there's like a tone to them, like a honk, like the, hey girl, or like the honk that's like, move or like the honk that's like I look good or the honk that's like you look good I don't know my car's honk literally sounds like a clown car like I'm not even kidding like I honked it once and my mom made fun of me because it sounded like a clown car but you know it's fine I'm okay with that like who doesn't love a good clown car because the person driving it is a clown so I made this new playlist called um driving with theater kids with like all my favorite musicals because I've noticed that like literally every single like musical theater playlist on Spotify that I just like look up is literally the same thing over and over again like I feel like all I listen to when I look up those things is like Heathers and like Be More Chill and Wicked which those are like good shows to get don't get me wrong except for Be More Chill I don't like Be More Chill but like I hear a neighborhood but there's a lady walking but she's walking fast. Thanks, ma'am, for living your best life. All right, I know what I'm going. I think I know where I'm going. Uh, I'm just gonna look for my mom's car. <laughs> so I made my own driving with theater kids playlist because I never know what they want to listen to, and they're just like, oh, like, 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 like a good theater playlist is cool, and I'm like, okay. Um, I gotta broaden your horizons, kids. Like. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna park in the road, so I'm not, like, looking mean. Alright, so, I've arrived at my destination. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little drive with me. Um, happy, you know, every fourth word. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys Wednesday for a pretty funky, fresh video.